Uh, the purpose of this uh, short video dealing with uh, custom programming in C Sharp uh, using the Tecla Open API is to show that uh, the programmed apps can work uh, not only with um, uh, helping with the modeling or helping uh, checking the model or helping with repetitive tasks, but the uh, the uh, custom apps can also interact with uh, drawings. Now, in this case, we're going to um, um, create a, an app that uh, works with the drawings list, and we're going to be checking to make certain that uh, all of the part marks uh, appear in the selected drawings um, and that uh, none are missing. I'll just uh, I'll give you some examples here. As in uh, any drawing, uh, the um, parts all need to be called out and Tecla does a great job of um, making certain that the um, parts are all included in the bill of materials but um, it's uh, also helpful to the shop foreman to everybody involved the welders that uh, the parts are correctly called out uh, in the uh, drawings at least once they may not be uh, shown in every view but they need to be uh, uh, shown at least uh, once. So that's the purpose of the um, that's the purpose of the app. Uh, I'll just mention here. I'll show you. Just draw your attention to this. I'm going to try to mention it again. But part of the way that we get this to work is that we include um, we set up our bill of materials so that there are brackets around the individual parts listed in the bill of materials. Um, and so that's an important thing as far as getting this app to work. Okay, I'll, um, I'll go back and we'll uh, run the app on uh, a set of drawings that should be okay and have uh, no problems. And we'll uh, make a change to uh, one or two of the uh, drawings and uh, run the app again. Okay, to uh, try to demonstrate how this uh, works, I've selected some uh, drawings here in the drawings list. And... Um, that's all we need to do is just select those drawings and um, highlight them all and we'll we'll just run the program off of that so here they are they're all um, all selected here okay so the drawings are selected and then I'll open up my app here now the app can we're just going to check the uh, selected assembly drawings and um, um, it's going to select for any missing parts. You'll see the uh, down here that the uh, the app is working inside of the Tecla model. So here it starts. Uh, it's we got a notice here that it's checking for missing part marks in assembly drawings. Um, and so that's uh, that's how it's going to work. Uh, we don't tend to have a lot of problems with missing marks in assembly drawings, but uh, when it's so easy to check for something like that, um, it's good to run this app, and then we don't get any calls from the uh, shop foreman or or anybody on the shop floor. It's uh, just a better way to uh, to do things. Okay, I'm just going to pause. Uh, don't forget to check um, our uh, website, tecladeveloper.com, where we have uh, all kinds of these uh, videos that um, display so many different types of apps that can be accomplished. And um, once again, we think that uh, these apps uh, pay for themselves in one time use. If what all it takes is one use and the app is uh, paid for itself, they're really not very expensive. I'll just pause the video. Well, well, it's just about finished here now, actually. It's uh, checking how many drawings. 28 drawings. Okay, it's checking 28 drawings. Um, takes a while, but not too bad. Um, it's going to look inside each of the assembly drawings. It's going to compare the displayed marks with the marks that appear in the uh, bill of materials. And it's going to notify me if there's uh, anything missing. Just about done. OK, 
Okay, we've got a message here saying uh, down here in the menu notice bar, it's uh, completed its job and that it's uh, said that all the part marks have been displayed in each uh, drawing at least uh, once. Okay, um, I'm just going to uh, make some changes in one of the drawings and see if it will um, pick that drawing out. Okay, here we are back to our drawing uh, 3C32 and um, we can see that uh, I'm just, I'm just going to find a part 3WA28 here it is listed in the uh, bill of materials I'm just going to remove the marks there okay it's called out here I don't think it's is it called out here yeah it's called out there So I'll just uh, save that. Okay, and we'll um, we'll run the app again and uh, see if it can find uh, C332. Okay, uh, here we are. I've got the same list of. Um, of assemblies that we had here uh, before and um, so they're selected in the uh, drawings list or in this case uh, since it's, it's the document manager and uh, we'll just run the app um, here again just on those selected ones and um, we'll just check here in the notice bar to make sure that Okay, I'll just uh, check on that list and uh, we'll just start it off here. So I'm marked here checking for missing parts in the assembly drawings. And so it's going to go through that same set of drawings. It's once again, it's going to look through the assembly drawings, looking for the displayed uh, part marks. It's going to compare that to the bill of materials and it will, um, if it if it notices anything missing, it's going to uh, provide a pop-up menu and um, a, a notice here in the notice bar, and it will take the uh, drawings and um, that are affected and put them uh, select that drawing into its own window, bringing it to our attention. So um, uh, it's a very useful tool. It's just an example of how. Um, Custom programming using the Tecla Open API can uh, perform tasks in drawings in Tecla structures, and uh, it reduces the cost. It does a better job. Um, you know, really, there's so many things that uh, can be done. This is just uh, one uh, example. So. Um, if you need to uh, email us, uh, email us at info at techladeveloper.com. Um, I would pick those emails up myself, and um, we'd, we'd be glad to see if, uh, you know, if you have any repetitive need that you need to have done, we'd be glad to do something for you, that's for sure, and it's always affordable. There's, um, like anything else these days dealing with computers, it just gets cheaper and cheaper. Okay, here's, um, okay, you've got a notice here saying it's completed, it's checking operation. And uh, yes, we've got a warning, missing parts have been found in some of the assembly drawings and the assembly drawings have been selected. So let's go and look at those. So here it is in our um, document manager in our drawings list, uh, the, uh, the column that, uh, had the missing mark has been brought to our attention and we'll just uh, open that up so you you know we'll go back to it 
currently, that's all the uh, app does. It just brings to our attention anything that has a um, missing mark. It doesn't highlight it in the bill of materials or anything like that, but uh, uh, it can do its job, and um, we wanted to bring that to your attention, so thanks very much.